This lawn in Leeming is starting to look a bit tatty, and for many people, the solution to that problem will be to rip it out and whack down some artificial turf. But I have to say, I'm not entirely comfortable with that solution. Nick, tell me, can we save this lawn? Sure can, Darren. With few issues, but with a little bit of effort, we can make it look magnificent. The first thing we need to do is aerate. Lawns can become compacted over time, and when this happens, water struggles to penetrate and the soil can't breathe. A garden fork or aerating tool will work magic, opening up the soil and allowing water to move in freely. That's all done, Nick, and I have to say, that was a little more work than I thought it would be. There's gotta be an easier way. Well, we could have hired an aerator or a spike roller, but I reckon you could do with the exercise. Seriously? Oh, mate, what's next? Fertilising. Well, I'm going to leave you to do that. I'm off to have a diet cordial. Young people. Applying a complete lawn fertiliser twice a year is all most lawns need to keep them looking great. Be sure to apply the product evenly and use a wetting agent at the same time. All done, Darren. Oh, oh yeah, well done. Nick looks great, mate. Just one more thing. Oh, what's that? You want me to make you some of these ginger pine patties? No. I saw some compost in your trailer. Can we use some of that? Guess so, but just pretty keen on the ginger pine patties. A light top dress with a rich compost will introduce crucial organic matter to the lawn, feeding the soil microbes and aiding with moisture retention. It's looking good, Nick. You know what? I think I can feel this grass growing already. Yes, Darren, you bet. And with this warm weather, it's going to jump ahead and look fantastic. And I prefer that cool, soft touch and natural grass any day of the week. True enough, and you've got to remember the habitat too for birds, beneficial insects and reptiles. Looks great and feels good too. Nature's forces at work.